Hi again. Many of the home safety tips we're sharing are relevant for any home situation, including manufactured homes and rental units. If you haven't already, I encourage you to take a look at our main Fire and Life safety video, where we provide the important basics to safety, injury prevention, and home security. But there are some differences in the three major living situations, so let's follow up with some specifics for those living in manufactured homes. No matter where you live, one of the most important safety precautions you can take is the installation and maintenance of smoke alarms. You should have smoke alarms installed in all the bedrooms and in the hallways outside the bedrooms. It's best if these smoke alarms are interconnected. That way, if one goes off, they all do. Don't wait for the batteries to go dead before you replace them. Replace them every six months. And if your smoke alarms are over 10 years old themselves, replace those too. You can buy smoke alarms at any hardware store. They aren't expensive and they can save your life. That is a pretty good deal. Now, while we're talking about alarms, you need to have a carbon monoxide alarm installed outside of each of the bedrooms in a hallway or within 10 feet of any bedrooms. So we'll put this one in here. Now, as with smoke alarms, you should replace the batteries every six months, but the unit itself should be replaced every five to seven years. Having an emergency escape plan and practicing it is also essential in any sort of home. You always want two ways out. And knowing how to properly use windows that are installed in your home is very important. And decide on a designated family meeting place, somewhere that you're safe and can be seen in the event of an emergency. Manufactured homes do have some important differences that need to be taken into consideration. Have your heat tape checked annually. Unplug it in the spring after the last frost. Then have it inspected in the early fall before you plug it back in. If your pipes freeze, be safe. Don't try to thaw them yourself. Contact a licensed manufactured home maintenance professional for assistance. And while we're looking under your home, don't use the space for storage. You're just providing fuel for a fire as well as potential home to animals that could cause damage leading to serious problems and your dryer vent, check it regularly to make sure it's intact. Also, clean the lid from the vent and from the dryer on a regular basis. This is gonna help your clothes get drier faster. It's gonna save you money on energy and it's gonna keep your home safer. Make sure to keep your gas meter vent open and free of obstructions like snow in the winter. Now let's look at your furnace and your water heater. First of all, don't store anything in these compartments like this. This space should be clear of clutter. Closely monitor the integrity of your floor to make sure that it hasn't been compromised by any water damage. If it has, or if there's any doubt, get it fixed. Also, your water heater and your furnace should be inspected every year by a professional. Oh, and one more thing, be sure to change your furnace filter once a month or according to your manufacturer's instructions. Finally, the primary causes of fire in any home are smoking and unattended cooking. So if you smoke, never smoke in bed and make sure that your smoking materials are put out properly. And in a kitchen, never leave a stove unattended while cooking. And outside, grills should be at least six feet away from your home and never left unattended. We encourage you to watch our main video to make sure you have a thorough understanding of what you can do in your home to ensure the safety of those that you love. If you have any more questions or you just want to know more about home safety, contact your local fire department. Thanks for watching and be safe.